Hi, my name is David Campbell, and today I'm going to demonstrate Packet Tracer 5.3.5.4, configuring Ethernet and serial interface. The objective: configure a LAN Ethernet interface, configure a WAN serial interface, and verify the interface configuration. So, our first step: we're going to log into the computer of the customer PC desktop, and we're going to go to the terminal. And we're going to leave that exactly like it is. Type in the password, enable, okay now our first step we just got to look visually see what the, the fast ethernet what we're going to be working on so the first thing we got to work is the fast ethernet and it's going to be the fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 since it's up and it already has an IP address. So we don't have to worry about the fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 since it's down. And later on, we're going to work with the serial 0 slash 1 slash 0. So the first step we need to do is go back here. I'm going to maximize this so it would be a lot easier for us to read. And now we're going to go to the configuration, which we are in. And now we're going to type in the interface. So interface fast zero slash zero. So now we're looking into the interface fast into the net zero slash zero. That's the one we're working on. Now there, we got to add a description to the interface. So we're going to type in description connected to customer switch. Press enter. Now we're going to add an IP address. And the IP address is going to range from with the 192.168.1.1 with the subnet mask of 255, 255.255.0. So let me just Put this in here. Okay. Next, we need to uh, we need to ensure that the interface is enabled. So we're going to type in no shutdown. No shut down. And then we're going to end. If I can spell right. And uh, configured by from console to console, so we should be able to set this up. And right now, I just want to check the results. So minimize this. All right. And for some reason, we should be, we've not completed actually the serial one. We have not done that. So I'm just going to go through that. I just want to make sure everything is here. Which, yeah. Which is this packet tracer acting funny again. Okay, that's no problem. Let me get this back on here. I just want to show you the Okay, now so we need to configure the serial port. Which is no problem for us. Okay, now let me just put the show IP up route. And this will just show what's going to be working 
Uh, it's going to be directly connected to the past Ethernet. For some reason, the serial number is already put together, which I have no clue why. I don't think anybody can get this in three minutes. But, oh well. Now, we're going to enter the global configuration mode, just like we just did. Okay, I'm just showing a bunch of all of our information. So, enable. Config. See? So we're right in here. And now we want to identify the serial interface to configure. So, describe the interface. So just like what we did to describe the interface, the description connected to, we're going to instead of customer switch like we just did, we're going to connect to the ISP. So we're going to connect to ISP. File ISP. Oop. And I just almost did a big thing. A uh, serial. We need to go to the serial right here. I can't believe I just did that. Interface. Serial. And I am not typing. Serial. Zero slash one slash zero. So now we're in the serial. Interface, so we need to go connect to just like what we did, as I said, with the interface. So we just describe connect to ISP, which we're, we're trying to connect to, and now we're going to get the IP address of 192.168.1.1. With a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Paste. Which gets us right there. And what do you know? It tells us that it's over facing because we're using a different IP address. Let's go. And we'll get that IP address that we are just going to have. Okay, and it looks like it's all set up. So all we'll have to do is ensure the interface is enabled, so no shutdown. No shutdown. End. So let's save. So we'll just copy one start. And it's building the configuration. Everything's okay, so we have saved everything. And now let's just ping. What we're going to do. I'm going to ping. So we just customer route, ping. And it doesn't look like I got the right IP address, so I just want to double check everything. Let's just ping. Uh -huh, I just see what I did wrong.
There we go. So it looks like everything is working fine. Let us just check the results. And this completes all that we have had to do. And that's the complete end of 5.3.5.4, the configuring the Ethernet and serial interface. Thank you and have a great day.